Hey guys, how's it going? The fifth edition of the ISL is right around the corner and this year promises to be the most exciting season yet. 10 teams, ATK, Kerala Blasters, Bengaluru, Chennai, Northeast United, FC Goa, Mumbai City, Jamshedpur, Delhi and Pune City will vie for glory. The league gets underway on the 29th of September with ATK taking on Kerala Blasters. The upcoming season will be different from the previous seasons. It will have three breaks, two for FIFA windows in October between 8th to 16th and in November between 12th to 20th and one in December starting from the 17th for the Indian national team's preparatory camp ahead of the 2019 AFC Asian Cup in UAE. This signals a shift from prior editions which saw a much more rigorous schedule. This also means that this year's ISL will take place for a whole five months adding to the whole excitement of the spectacle. Chennai and FC are the defending champions who won their second ISL title by defeating Bengaluru 3-2 in the final. As sports Kira, we're previewing each team's chances. This is your host Kaushal Raj and let's take a look at Kerala Blasters in this video. The team with the greatest fan base in the country or perhaps even amongst the most passionate fan base in the world, Kerala Blasters are surprisingly still waiting for their first ISL title. Last season, Kerala couldn't rise up to the expectations as they finished a low 6th place on the table with only 6 wins from 18 games. The manager, René Muhlenstiel, was sacked mid-season and was replaced by former player manager David James. Following the departure of many players who represented Blasters last season, David James will hope he has got the right combination that can go on to win the title this time around. Blasters have acquired the service of Indian Under-17 World Cup hero Dheerat Singh who will be expected to shine on the grandest stage. The Blasters can truly believe that they have the best defence in the league especially with the signing of Indian international Anas from FC Jamshedpur who will be in tandem with their captain Sandesh Jingal. All eyes will be on the local boy CK Vineet who has scored many many important goals in their history. Blasters have replaced ISL all-time top scorer Ian Hume and Berbatov with much younger players and they will be expected to act as catalysts. With the Kerala Blasters fans planning to storm the home matches and away matches in large numbers and paint the ISL yellow, it is up to the players and staff to repay the fans with entertaining football and top class results. After finishing as runners-up in two previous editions, let's hope David James and the Kerala Blasters can finally have a touch on the silverware. What do you guys think of Kerala Blasters chances? Let us know in the comment section below and keep following Sportskeeda for the best from the ISL.